Black 2 Aboriginal, let's get started, y'all. Big country, England, so. Look at this, y'all. I put a female in here, and it drove big country crazy. He is lifting his wings up, doing a dance, trying to get the female to acknowledge him. Look at this. Look at this. I've seen the German cockroaches do this, but I've never seen, I have never, ever, 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 ever seen this. Focus. 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 This. I didn't even get a chance to tell you the story behind this. I didn't get a chance to tell you. Okay. Big Country is doing his mating dance because he can smell that that's a female. He can smell that. He can smell it. But the female isn't ready to mate. I don't believe she's ready to mate yet. I don't believe she's ready to mate yet. But it's definitely a female. I found her, man, when I was out today. We was working, and it was a big plastic bag sitting right there. And I picked the bag up, and lo and behold, she fell out. And I saw her. I said, you know what? That's a smoky brown cockroach. I, that's a smoky brown. I'm telling you. Smoky brown. And I knew it. I don't know how. I just didn't. So I, I, it, took, it took me a minute to grab her, though. It took me a minute to grab her. But I grabbed her. And I put her in the container. And I brought her here. Put a little moisture, moisture, little cotton up in there first so she'd stay nice and moist. As soon as I put her in here, Big Country flipped his lid. You see what he's doing right now? He is going crazy. He is going crazy. He wants, he wants that female bad. The way cockroaches mate is they lift, she'll lift his wings up. She'll start eating off of the back of his back. And he'll ease his proboscis. That thing in the back into hers and they'll mate. They get stuck sometimes. And after that, after that happens, it's a wrap. It's a wrap, baby. A wrap is a wrap is a wrap. I'll tell you that. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> yeah, he's waiting. He is waiting for her. But what he doesn't realize, what he has not realized yet, is that she is not full grown yet. She's still in her nip stage. When she's full grown, she'll have wings. But she smells like a female. You see what I'm saying? And that's what's driving him crazy. That's what's driving him crazy. Now, what he's going to probably end up doing is staying very, very close to her. Because he knows. He knows. That he's going to be the one that's, for lack of a better word, get the draws. I hate to say it that way. 
there aren't any other females or males in this habitat. So they're definitely going to be a pair. But he's going to have to wait until she, until she sheds. She's not full grown. She's almost full grown, though. She's got all the features of a full grown, you know what I'm saying? Of a full grown female, you know what I'm saying? But it's under the skin, you see what I'm saying? She has to shed that skin first. And she's not gonna mate until she actually sheds that skin and becomes a full grown female. But she smells like a female to big country and that's all that matters. I had to let y'all see this. I was gonna wait to do this recording but I put her in there and that was a wrap it was a wrap it's love at first sight y'all you see this love at first sight big country has never been as happy as he is right now and I know that I know that because I have never seen him react this way how do you make a pinot noir that tastes like no other look at that start with tradition look at that now I know he's a male I could tell he was a male at first because of the way his body was shaped but to see him react the way he's reacting he's because you know these these roaches fly right he's opening his wings up you can see his his flying wings when he lifts his wings up and he's behaving the same way the same way the same way as the German cockroach with the same attitude the German cockroaches speak. They, they, they do the same thing they act just like he's acting right now he's tasting her he's enjoying her company and he's trying to get her to mate with him that's why he keeps lifting his wings up he gives off a sweet some type of sweet um thing on his he gives off a sweet nectar on his back that makes the female want to drink and when she tries to drink it his his body it's like his tail part gets hard it goes up under the female and sticks right to her um to her um posterior and once they get stuck he fertilizes her and after that She's pregnant for life. For life. For life. I had to let y'all see this. It's amazing. It's real amazing, y'all. The cravings pack from Taco Bell. Four crunchy tacos and four beefy five layer burritos for only 10 bucks. Pairs perfectly with all your Taco Bell favorites. So grab $10 pack for your crew All right, y'all. I'm going to do a little more research on this, but I had to let y'all see this and also let y'all know that Big Country has a companion now. And I call her Glenside or Glenny because that's why I got her. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <clears throat> I was going to call her Rain. Because it was really, really raining outside. Really raining. He can't keep his eyes off of her. He cannot keep his eyes nor his antennas off of her. Now I bet you he follows her everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Do you hear me? Just to make sure he's the only see in his mind. He feels like there are more males out there. You see what I'm saying? So he feel like he got to protect her from other males. Even though he's in a closed environment in Habitat 1. You see what I'm saying? And it's just so beautiful. I know I'm a little, I'm, I'm, I'm talking a little sketchy because I'm, I'm actually enjoying watching this. It's crazy. It's crazy. It is crazy, and I knew it. It was almost like destiny because what are the odds? Now, I caught the other female. She was a younger female. I put her in there. She's still in here somewhere. I don't know where she at. I have no idea. But <clears throat> Big Country paid her no mind. Actually, he acted like 
He acted like he didn't like her for some reason. But this one, oh no. It was exactly the opposite. Exactly the opposite. He is in love. He's in love. You can almost sense, you can almost see like that 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 smell of her. It's like nectar to him. He can smell her with his antennas. Look at that. He's not likely to leave her alone at all. Oh, this glad that you see this is the um condensation on the um condensation on the glass. I'm sorry, I apologize for that. See, look at that. He knows exactly where she is. And he is not trying to let her escape for nothing. Yeah, I don't know if this has been put on television before, but, or you know, actually recorded, but this is the actual mating dance of the smoky brown cockroach. And you're watching it on Aboriginal Nature Channel. Yep. And there's a mind that you're in in the background <laughs> of all things, right? Yep, this is the mating dance of the smoky brown cockroach. And I think this is probably the first time ever that it has been recorded. First time ever, 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 ever. And I got it. Look at that. That's big country right there, y'all. And I apologize for the focusing problems. It's because of the glass. It's because of the glass, y'all. I apologize. I'm going to try to. There we go. That's the male, and of course the female is all the way over here, hiding from him. <laughs> and of course this is Peel City, that's what I call Habitat 1, Peel City. They've been made into, last time I showed you, them in the rut, fighting each other. It's springtime, baby. Springtime. That's what's bringing it out of them, y'all. Peace. Aboriginal Nature Channel. Habitat number one.